All right, so now we're going to generate a high fidelity normal map. And to do that, what we need to do is make about three of these, not counting the background. So these three right here. And then what we're going to do is blur out this by a few pixels. I usually use about 1 or 1 1.5. Okay, and we blur it in kind of like a downward spiral in the fact that the bottom most layer I'm going to really blur. And depending on how many levels I got, I'll blur it even further. So this one, maybe I'll blur right here. This one, I'm going to blur it one half of that one. And I'm doing a Gaussian blur, by the way. So right about here. And then the top one, I'll blur it. Now the last one, I'm going to keep all to itself. This is the sharpest one. In fact, I'm going to sharpen that. So filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. Good, good. Now with these three or four that I got, what I'm going to do is go filter, NVIDIA Tools Normal Map Filter. And I'll use the multiple layers feature. And I'll use a scale of like three and hit OK. So for each one of these, I'm going to do that. This time I could just go Normal Map Filter, Normal Map Filter, and then lastly, Normal Map Filter. And then I'm going to kill all the dead pixels for each one of these, and I'm going to kill it across the board in RGB. Okay. Now I don't want to go all the way to the change. I'll probably go midway and equal to both sides of the curve. So here to here. Okay, unfortunately, there's no quick way to do this, so you just got to put up with me doing this for each one. Notice the curve gets a little bit more weak every time. Uh, let's go into here to levels. All right, there we go. Now I need one more layer. I'm going to put this at the very bottom and I'm going to steal some blue. And I had to steal a specific value of blue. And hopefully I can find this value. It's right about here. And this is the surface at rest. Okay, so I'm trying to get the the surface has at rest blue. A good way to do this is steal it from a different layer, like this one, because here is that color. And then I'm going to fill this bottommost layer with that color. Good. So now I have all of these. And I'm going to set each one to overlay. Wow, I got a lot more information there. Look at that. 
Okay, compared to the other normal map, I'm getting some pinks and some just some really bright colors in here. Okay, I got some greens even. So this is a higher fidelity normal map. Now, there's one more step that we have to do, and let me remember this step. Oh yeah, you have to turn the blue channel off. So by double clicking it, we can go in and destroy that. So blue channel, we don't want to render it. Remember, it's completely neutral anyway. Blue is at rest. Except for the very bottom one. That's going to be our blue channel. Well, let's play around with this one. Let's save as. And we're going to save it as a TGA. And we're going to look at that as block 4 normal map. And I'll put high fidelity up there. HF. 24 bits is fine. And hit OK. So let's go to Unity and use this one. Okay, let's click here. Let's select. And holy cannolis, look at how deep that groove goes, right? Okay, let's also control that shine a little bit more. So anytime you're dealing with high fidelity, you're going to have to choke back the shine quite a bit. Wow. Look at that. So very high fidelity. You can definitely see the change of geometry now. It looks like there is a groove there for between each tile. So things like tile might not necessarily be a good choice as far as high fidelity, but rocks on cliffs definitely are. But you can definitely see the change here. Now, this is a normal map. Should there be that much change? No, well, sometimes it, it's an arguable fact that, you know, a lot of artists say that the high fidelity should make a lot of change in games. Right now we almost have to do that because very little games support parallax mapping. So, and normal mapping runs leaner than parallax. So if you have a normal map on a character that is running real time and capturing shadows, a normal map is a great way to do it. So high fidelity is a good choice. It should be generated, however, unless it's something like yeah, it should be always generated. It should be, in my humble opinion. There, you can't get me back on that one. <laughs> but um, the low fidelity really does look pretty nice on characters, and high fidelity looks pretty good on environmentals. That's kind of the general rule of thumb that I follow. Now, let's look at the last one, which is generated, which is really cool. Okay, we, I think we studied this back in Modeling 1, but I'm going to do it again here. 